Hi, welcome to this tutorial on mass and weight. These are two quantities that often get confused with one another. What do we mean by mass? Well the mass of an object is related to the amount of matter in the object and it is measured in kilograms. Although sometimes you might see units of grams or some other units, you must try and change them back to kilograms. Now when it comes to the weight of an object, the weight of an object is the force acting on it due to the gravitational field that the object is in. Now let me explain what we mean by this gravitational field that the object is in. If we take the Earth and we take an object close to the surface of the Earth, you'd find that it would drop towards the Earth with an acceleration, a constant acceleration. That constant acceleration, often called g, the acceleration due to gravity, turns out to be 9.8 meters per second per second. It acts towards the surface of the Earth. And it doesn't matter where you are on the surface, that acceleration due to gravity will always act towards the surface. And it generally is. 9.8 meters per second per second wherever you are on this surface. However, if you were to go to say the moon, the gravitational field round the moon is different to that round the earth. It's because this is a smaller mass than that of the earth. It turns out that if you were to drop an object close to the surface of the moon, the acceleration towards the surface, g in this case, is about 1.6 meters per second per second. And again, it doesn't matter where you are on the surface, it's always going to be 1.6 meters per second per second. Now when it comes to weight, weight is measured in newtons. Assuming that your mass is in kilograms and your acceleration due to gravity is measured in meters per second per second. We often say that weight is equal to mg. So what does this mean? Well, if we took a person, a person whose mass, say, was, what, let's say, 80 kilograms. Now whether they were out in space, or whether they were on the surface of the Earth, or the Moon, let's just put them on the Moon, okay? Their mass would still be the same. It would be 80 kilograms. But it's their weight that would change. The person in space would be weightless, because G is zero. But when on the surface of the Earth, their weight, which acts towards the surface of the Earth, would be given by their mass times acceleration due to gravity. So the weight of this person with a mass of 80 kilograms is going to be equal to 80 multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, 9.8. What does that work out to be? 784. So it would be 784 newtons. Whereas on the moon the weight acting towards the surface would be W given by their mass 80 multiplied by their acceleration due to gravity of 1.6 meters per second per second. And if you work that out that comes out to 128 newtons. So the weight of someone on the moon is about one-sixth the weight of somebody on the earth. Yet their mass is exactly the same. Now suppose I had this question. The mass of a stone is 58 grams. Don't confuse this G with the G that we're using over here. Find the weight on earth. Well, we've got to be very careful with something like this because, first of all, the mass 
is given in grams, 58 grams, and we need to change it into kilograms. Well, obviously, we know that it's a thousand grams make a kilogram, so in kilograms, this is going to be 0 0.058 kilograms. So when it comes to the weight, the weight is going to be equal then to that mass, 0 0.058, multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, which would be 9.8. Always check out in questions what value of g they're using. It can vary sometimes. Some authors or examiners might change this to 10. So just take care, but 9.8 tends to be the norm. Well, if you work this out, you end up with 0.5684. And if we say round that to two significant figures, that's going to be 0.57. Don't forget the units, newtons, to two significant figures. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea of what we mean by mass and weight and how we can work out weight as given by the formula mg.